AITA for accidentally sleeping on the couch with my husband? My 24F husband 24 meters and I are visiting my family. My husband kids and I were getting ready to go to our room for bed when my parents started acting really awkward like something was off. I asked them what was wrong and my mom quietly told me that my husband should sleep on the couch in the living room. I was a bit shocked because why? Apparently my dad doesn't feel comfortable. I called her and my dad weird and told my husband to ignore them. We finally put our kids to sleep and are getting ready to sleep when my mom barges into the room while we're changing and says that she doesn't want us in the same room alone in her house. My husband is freaking terrified at this point because he was in the middle of changing so he leaves for the couch and my mom says she's sorry but she's not in the mood to deal with my dad's complaining all night. I pointed out that my younger sister, 21F, and her husband have slept in the same room at their house multiple times and she's never said anything and she goes, well, your husband is white so your dad feels weird. I was over it so I said fine. I got up at like 4 a.m. to drink some water and I saw my husband wide awake just lying on the couch. He said the couch is uncomfortable as fuck. Which yes it is. So I sat down next to him and we both accidentally fell asleep. I woke up later to my mom freaking out. She was whisper yelling. So she doesn't wake up my dad. And asked if we're that codependent on each other that we can't spend one night alone. I tried explaining that it was a mistake but she kept calling me disrespectful and said that I was selfish etc. I was upset but my son called for me so we ended our conversation. Now I'm wondering if I really am the asshole in this situation? My mom says I am because I was being selfish, disrespectful and completely disregarded how difficult her life would have become if my dad found us. My whole thing is that it was an accident. I'm 24. My dad is being weird and my sister's husband doesn't have to do this so why does mine? AITA? Edit. My family and I are South Asian. Edit. Yes. I know a lot of this has to do with my husband being white and them being racist, prejudiced. I called my parents weird, strange, awkward because of what they were doing. Glaring at each other. Swearing at each other under their breaths randomly going quiet out of nowhere etc. They do this pretty often and have been doing it for as long as I can remember. So much that my sister and I call it the weird mood. Like, keep an eye out for mom and dad. They're in their weird mood. Sorry for so many edits but this should be the last one. I'm getting a lot of people asking the same thing so I'm just going to copy one of my replies. My kids were not in danger. We live over 8 hours away. It was snowing heavily and the roads would have been icy and pitch black. It was after 11 p.m. My sons are 2 and 3 and the nearest hotel is pretty far away. Not to mention my husband and I had been driving for literal hours and were completely exhausted. Trust me. We definitely thought about it and both my husband and I decided to stay the night. NTA. WTF. What kind of shenanigans is this? I don't see why your dad has any issues with you sleeping in the same room with your husband. You guys have kids so clearly sex has happened. And why is it any different that he's white? Why are your parents racist? Do they treat your kids differently because they're half white? If they do, you need to step up and protect your children from your bigoted parents and step up for your husband. 2. NTA for falling asleep on the sofa next to your husband. But what are you going to do next? Here's what you should do. Set clear boundaries that if your husband will not be respected by your parents, then you can no longer visit their home that includes an overnight stay. You are married. You have kids. They are the priority. 
FNTA. You are adults married to each other with two children and your father can't handle that you are still all of these things while in his house. WTF. And somehow your mother is responsible for enforcing his ridiculous rule. Oh and if he gets upset. That is her fault. So. Your father is in awe and your mother has become emotionally immune to it from years of trying to survive such raging assholery. Good grief. Maybe this is your cue to create a bit of distance here. Or stay in a hotel. Or invite them to you house and have father sleep on your couch. P.S. Notice how your father has made your mother completely responsible for managing his emotions. You're married and have two kids? Does your dad think it was the immaculate conception? Lol at the, are you so codependent, question. N.T.A. Pack up and head home or to a hotel. Your parents are controlling and crappy hosts. N.T.A. Your parents are weird as fuck for that. W.T.F.F.F.F. is wrong with your parents? N.T.A. Exclamation mark. Wait, wait, wait. You're married and have children and your father won't let you sleep in the same bed because your husband is white? N.T.A. And that is the last night you ever spend at your racist parents' house. N.T.A. Your dad is racist and there's no reason why you shouldn't share a room. You've already had kids together so it's not like you don't already have sex. I just wouldn't stay at their place ever. YTA, not for sleeping on the couch. But for not standing up for your husband against the blatant racism shown here. Plus your mum stormed in when your husband and you were changing which your husband clearly said he felt awkward about. Op leave the house and refuse to come back. Visit without an apology to your husband and clear. Rules that are equal for you and your sister. Is your dad racist? N.T.A. You are married. You have kids. Where in the world does your dad think those kids came from? O.M.G. So N.T.A. here. Did you dad actually say anything to you about this because it seems to be all your mom? N.T.A. What the H3LL is wrong with your parents? You're married for goodness sakes. Why is it wrong for married people to sleep in the same bed? And what has race, color got to do with it? I don't care if you're pink with purple polka dots. You're married. Go stay at a hotel where you can have some peace. YTA for not defending your husband. I would have packed up your immediate family and left the next morning. I would tell your parents that you will not be visiting again until they get over their racist attitude. The only compromise would be for you, your DH and children to stay at a hotel. Under due condition would I stay at your parents' house. Your husband deserves better. How do they think your children were conceived? Immaculate conception? NTA, if your parents don't want you alone in the same room as your husband. Then they should have said something before bedtime so you could have decided if those conditions were acceptable to you all before you agreed to stay there. Your mom needs to deal with your dad, not you and your husband. Tiptoeing to abusive. Here if she's walking on eggshells like your post suggests. NTA but you need to pack up and leave and never spend another night in your parents' house. Your parents are the A.H. N.T.A. This has nothing to do with two people sleeping together and this was made pretty damn clear by the fact that as you pointed out, your sister and her husband were allowed to sleep together. Your father, or your mother, made it pretty damn clear what it's all about. Well, your husband is white so your dad feels weird. Well since your dad, mom, brought up the subject of race, 
It's definitely resickum. I worry for the safety and mental well-being of your kids being around that toxic behavior. Your parents may not be obviously racist when you're around but what about when you are not? What other red flags do you parents have? Don't comprises on your boundaries. NTA. NTA. You are legally married with children and they're racists. Cut them out until they apologize to you and your husband. Your children are half white. How different do they treat them compared to the good daughter's kids? NTA. Your parents are the assholes for demanding a married couple separate. It's asinine. And the fact that it seems to be based on race is just bizarre? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.